Hello everybody, this is the Move Miser back yet again, and today I'm doing a little bit of a different video, um, a sort of announcement, really. So recently, I just finished the first season of 5028 Insight, uh, the audiobook that I've been working on for a while now. And, you know, I'm absolutely loving making it, but there's something I love making actually a lot more. That's books themselves. So, as a few of you probably know, who've known me for a long time, I primarily I'm a writer, and then I'm also an audio engineer on the side. Or more of the other way now at this point, I'm more of an audio engineer now and then a writer on the side. But recently, after finishing the first season of 5028 Insight, I wanted to get the book out. And, well, this is an announcement video after all, and I wanted to let you all know that the book is officially released now. So in the links below I will actually have the audiobook itself so that you can you know, buy it, hopefully, and enjoy it. And if you're wondering, oh, why don't I just listen to the audiobook, it's probably far superior. Uh, with my audio skills, I'd say no. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, there are some scenes in the audiobook that are absolutely mind-blowingly amazing compared to how they appear in the book. But there's also some other stuff in the book that doesn't appear in the audiobook. I changed a few scenes post-editing uh, and post-releasing the audiobook because I realized after listening back, um, when I was going through and trying to match up some of the audio to the book, or book to the audio, that some scenes didn't quite sound right. They didn't quite work with the book. So a few things were changed. Um, a few scenes were expanded upon. And the ending is, while it's complete, it's the same, there is a difference in some of the scenes uh, towards the end and some more explanation given and reasoning behind why things were happening. So I very highly encourage people to go um, and, you know, check out the book, you know, help support me a little bit so I can keep making videos like this happily, and so that I can keep making the audiobook, uh, to entertain you guys, because I've really enjoyed doing that, and I really enjoy making these videos occasionally. Um, on a side note, I'm also still trying to figure out what I want to do with the channel at this point. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions of ideas for things I could do, videos I could make, um, I'd be very happy to. As you can see, I actually have my camera back up now. I'm just using my iPhone. Uh, the camera's actually really good on it, so I'd be happy to do anything that requires my camera at this point, just because I find it fun. Um, so yeah, I'd love to hear everybody's opinions on that, and yeah. Also, I'm starting up college again, so uploads might be less common. Um, I might be going back into doing more music as well, so I could upload that. A lot of my classes this quarter actually have a lot to do with writing music, so I'm probably going to end up posting a lot more music either way. Um, and I also have jobs this quarter too, so my ability to work is a little bit more limited to the time I can get away from those jobs and from school itself and the schoolwork I do. Uh, and don't worry, I will try to find time wherever I can and, you know, record something like this or something so that I can, you know, help entertain you guys. I really enjoy making videos like this, so, you know, I hope to keep doing it, even if it's just for a hobby. On a side note, I got something really interesting. So, on the side of being a writer and a video editor and an audio editor, you know, the whole nine yards, I'm also a musician, surprise, surprise. So, I got something a little bit fun for myself. Um, for a couple reasons, honestly. Um, so, again, a few of you who might have known me for a long time, will know that I used to play flute 
But the ones of you who've known me really well will also know that I used to play bassoon. The only issue is I haven't had the ability to play bassoon lately simply just because... Why are you being a bitch? Simply because... They're expensive as shit. There we go. But, I was on eBay recently, and I'm gonna be joining a band soon, a uh, concert band specifically. I said, fuck it, you know what? I need a bassoon. I need to get back to practicing. And so I bought this for $700, taking a loan out of my grandparents' money. And it plays all right. It's out of tune constantly, so I'm taking it in to get evaluated and repaired more than anything. But hey, it looks nice, I'll say that. Um, so this is my bassoon, my new bassoon. Uh, probably gonna be my bassoon for a while. I really enjoy it, mainly just because it's nice to have an instrument in my hands again. Um, so who knows, I might post some videos of me playing uh, once I get back up to shape. They probably won't be that good, but you know, I look forward to getting back into it. Um, I need, Like I said, I need to take it in to get repaired, but... I think for $700, I think this is pretty much a, a nice deal. Given especially that the lowest Fox bassoons you can find, which to be fair, aren't even that great, are in the mid 2000 range, low 3000-ish. Um, so $700 plus whatever it's gonna cost for repairs is, you know, it's, it's lower than that. So I'm happy with it. It's, for those of you who are wondering, it's a Schreiber bassoon, Schreiber and Son. Um, given the serial number, I was guessing it's probably made around the early 1960s-ish, maybe mid-1960s, at the latest. Um, and I've heard mixed reviews about Schreiber, I've, I've heard a lot of people say, like, don't even go for them, just go straight for Fox, but, you know, for someone who's on as much of a budget as I am, you know, I just kind of went for it. It had started around $1,300, and then as it, <laughs> as its time ticked down, the price slowly dropped down to a affordable $750. Um, so yeah, you're gonna hear me probably play this. Um, I also play flute. You've actually heard my flute in the background of a couple songs I've done. Um, like, um, God, it was one of the Adventures in Sounds, the Collapse or something like that. I don't remember. Um, I played it in that, and I'm thinking that if I can get this tuned up correctly and get it in perfect working order, I can probably do some recordings. I've got the equipment for it. Um, I think it'd be a fun one to get some uh, experience on and see how it sounds. Yeah, so that's what's going on with me, more or less. Uh, again, if you guys have any ideas of things I could record, go ahead, put them in the uh, put them in the comments below or something, because I'm very interested in seeing what you guys think I could record, what I could do. If you like just vlogs like this, I'm very happy with that as well. I enjoy just sitting down and talking to a camera every once in a while. Um, you know, I don't mind. If you want to hear me play instruments, I'm okay with that too. But, you know, all in all, I just want to hear what you guys think I should be doing, what you or any ideas of what I should do. Uh, and at the same time, you know, I hope you guys get, uh, get some copies of the book. Because, you know, I've worked five years on it. It's nice to finally see it come to fruition and, you know, having some support from you guys would be amazing. So anyways, this is all the time that I have for today. So I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Till next time, everybody.